Welcome aboard, I'm Jason Avargo. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different for this channel. We're gonna be playing Yuppie Psycho, an RPG maker type horror game where you play this hapless nobody who gets wrapped up in all kinds of crazy stuff. There's gonna be witches, there's gonna be robot waifus, and there's gonna be pure aesthetic. Aesthetic all throughout this game. I'm not entirely sure how long it'll be or what exactly playing it will entail, but uh, I'm really excited to check it out because the trailer made it look really interesting. So, let's go. Boom. That is some PlayStation era startup music right there. Ooh, a cutscene. This place is so full of people. And my tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. Oh, okay. I thought we were thought we were going for like a Batman type monologue. But nope, we're already just the yuppie. They were right. The big city really will eat me alive. Why did I bring glasses if nobody here has eyes? And this letter. Job offer. Oh, that looks like one of those letters from Hogwarts that <laughs> show that you're in trouble. What if everything was a scam? But... Maybe it's real. If this letter is real... This would be my first job. Okay, I am aware that your first job is kind of exciting, but nobody- I never got the dramatic hair tussle and wind blow on my first day. Why does this guy get to be so lucky? I'm, oh, his name is Brian. What a wonderfully me average name. Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around here. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone with the E key. E. Excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. Okay, so she's clearly studying up for a test. There's nothing interesting here. It's a booklet. It says, Are you at the top of your class? Start your working life at the best company in the world with one of our Deluxe International Scholarships. And who are you, buddy? Is this a, is this a non-smoking lobby? Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me, you should call me Pasternak then. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I think I can assume it's also your first day. Just stay calm, it's normal to be a bit nervous. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, a suit. No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, then I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Uh... I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G and you? <laughs> Get away from me, vermin! Oh! How dare you talk to me, class G scum! But how? 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 Get out, go! Uh, I'm sorry for. Shut up! What brings a piece of stuff like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Sinjacorp headquarters, the mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Oh, yes. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... <laughs> no. <clears throat> Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Wow, that was intense. The button to call the elevator doesn't seem to be working. There's a camera on top. I guess someone's watching us. Camera. Dot, dot, dot. Uh... Management, executive, garden, archives, library, offices, the hive. Why do they call a floor in their office the hive? 
IT security initiation canteen lobby. Okay, so how the heck do we get out of here with this Deuterino in the way? It won't open. Just like all the other doors of opportunity in my life. More stuff. Yeah. Yuck. Why did I even do that? <laughs> it's like anybody else watching would be like, uh, buddy, why did you just stick your hand in a trash can? Class A is a dream for someone like me. Okay, letter, letter. Chicken butter. Hello, my name is Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Ah, uh, that's right. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, no, no. Call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? The suburbs? The suburbs? Yeah, I'm G-Class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. So there's like a hierarchy going on in this society. Ha 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 ha. I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here. My family was able to ascend through the ranks after I won the Hunger Games. How lucky. So are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and fi finished all... Finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. I work in disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Specialization? Um... Let me guess. Managing redundancy? Wow. That sounds kind of like an insult. Uh... Combined programs? Well... Wait, wait, wait. Network protocol systems. Management of vertical bases. Structural data cal... No, no. I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. Whew. What am I even doing here? It's impossible for a G-Class to get a j job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pasternak, you have been selected for a role within Citricorp staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought, I, I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You're directly secured a position at Citricorp. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education, or this is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Or maybe this was all a plot by some kind of chaotic demon who wants to take over the world. <laughs> they always call the most important people first, understand? <laughs> Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. You see that little light? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Do people ever leave this building? It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. Hee <laughs> hee. Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Ho ho ho, I'm a bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. I hope the elevator isn't cursed and it eats you or something. That would just suck. Uh, I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Ah, so do I. And I hope that we can ever actually be allowed to leave the building. Thanks to our corporate overlords. Hail Hydra. Wow, she got all the way to the fifth floor. Fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. I'll just wait here until they call me. Or maybe. Maybe I should show the letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with J. With, with what? I. Right. Use. Security camera gentleman or a lady? I received this letter with my name, and it says you're giving me a job. Is this some sort of prank, or hello? Eh. Okay, what an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Poor Brian Pasternak. I'll just go back to eating cheese and crackers at home. Might as well just give up on life, beat myself to death with my suitcase. It's been a long story, journey back home. What? What a surprise. The narrative has shifted. There's not even an announcement. <laughs> Why was there a horror sting? Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Um. Wait. Uh, is this normal? Is it going faster? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> the title crawl is attacking me. I can see words and images flashing before my eyes. The top floor? This is a mistake, right? Oh, okay. This is, this is definitely not... Okay, yeah, um, uh, 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 okay, oh gosh, oh gee, oh man. Okay, sir, sir, um, uh, I'll have the, the TPA quarterly reports on your desk. Okay, this remote doesn't work, I need two batteries. Modern art, expensive vases, but covered in... <gasps> Red paint? There's, there's paint everywhere, yeah, it, it, it's paint. Sure. Oh my gosh, kill the witch. It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Sinchicorp as described in the attached annexes, at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance, and promotion to Class A. 10,000 credits a day? That's a fortune. This could be a trick. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide professional services in accordance with the classification system of Sinchicorp. <gasps> By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted by in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Sign the contract? Not yet. Uh, I don't want to sign a contract just yet, buddy. I want to see what the rest of this stuff is here. This is some eccentricity of the big city, right? Central Corp is very important, so who am I to judge the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood. It must be worth millions. Yeah, yeah, sure. I could sit down, but better not. There's cameras everywhere. And they're... Oh, I thought they were following me. Okay. Uh, is there anything else here? Different sized pyramids. There's probably some artistic meaning. Anything in the vases? The gigantic vases? No? Nothing? What's in here? There's a door, but it's locked. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to sign the contract. Yes. I've come all this way. I can't come back. I can't back out now. I'll sign it. Deal with the devil. Well, who else would it be? I did not understand a word you just said. Wow, what just happened? Well, I signed it, now what? Okay, um... Usually... Something is supposed to happen. I guess... <laughs> uh, I guess the spooks are gonna wait. We just go down to floor, or floor 10, so we just go down to floor 9. Oh, the game has just started. It says, Exhibition in Honor of the Devil's Blood. Uh, it's locked. It has a security device. It looks quite complex. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Uh, I am a man of wealth and taste. Well, come on, Brian. The answer's obvious. It's what he wants us to do. Executive Garden Archives Library Offices IT Security Initiation. I guess we go back down to initiation? That would seem to be the best place to go. Whoa. Um Hi. Um I I I'm Brian. Night pleasure to pleasure to ple pleasure to meet you. Wonderful weather we're having. I'm not wandering around in the dark with light, and I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. So, no, no, no reaction. You're just completely unfazed by the fact that people are stumbling around like actual zombies. I got an ink cartridge. Good. In case the printer ever runs out of ink, that's, you know, that's a very typical problem at companies like this, along with uh, the actual zombie employees. Eat. You got one cup of water. I don't have the ingredients necessary to use the coffee maker. 
According to the company magazine, at Centricorp, you're not an employee, you're a leader. Okay, do you sandwich maker? Is that, is that actually gonna be like a quest to use the coffee maker? He's eating something, but the plate's empty. These cornflakes give you superpowers. Oh, they give you the superpower to eat really fast. It's an empty box of cereal. I will take it. He doesn't seem to mind. Why is um why is there like save room music in this horrifying dimly lit canteen? It's an altar. Five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. It can't be too difficult to fix. Okay, we don't have enough money. I guess we gotta go to work. If we actually wanna get money. But what floor do we even go to? And why is this guy- this guy is taking this all really in stride. I have come with no idea what's going on. There's blood all over the walls. I'm signing contracts with the devil. The employees are wandering around like- like horrifying drones. I mean, so, you know, that's pretty typical at one of these cubicle places, but still. Okay, that- that was- at some point you gotta start drawing a line. I got a soda without even meaning to. I got a slice of bread. Hey, I can start using the sandwich maker. With bread. Okay, this is empty. That's empty. What's in here? It's empty. Is that a hiding spot? We're gonna have to hide there. Where is everybody? Hi. Hello? Are you bad? He's shaking his briefcase at me. Is that how they greet people around here? Is that like a, a courtship ritual? Uh, do, do, do you want some, some, uh, annual stock bond summaries? He likes me, apparently. Uh, it's a hive. That girl I met in the lobby, Kate, was supposed to come on this floor, but it's so dark. I can't find her without a light. Well, okay, I guess we just gotta keep going until we, <laughs> until we find a light. Like, uh, oh. Well, that's great. I needed a light before, and now I need one even more. Oh. It looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. I'll keep it in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. No, oh, I finally made it somewhere somewhat normal. <clears throat> hello, are you the new guy? Yes, hello, my name is Bri- Uh, Pasternak, my name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Briar Pasternak. No, no, it's just- <laughs> It's a joke, man, I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you at first. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks, work with databases, you know, computer stuff. There are a few offices and a meeting room, the bathrooms at the back, and this is the reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Yeah, I do, uh, yeah. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Hey there, partner, let me introduce you to Pastor... Uh... See, he didn't even notice us. What guy even comes to work just so he can sleep? Ha 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 ha! Come on, follow me, I'll show you our office. Okay. This is all really weird, and Pasternak seems to be... thinking it's normal? Welcome to our new office. I don't know what kind of voice to give this guy. He's, he seems very jolly. So, is it like a Santa Claus voice? Welcome to our office. Ho ho ho, yes. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... Look who's uh, come out of her lair. This is another one of our workers. Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Hallelujah. <sighs> She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Let's get on with the tour.
Over here we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. Not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take... years. Like, literal years, or metaphorical? And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say, we use a little to replenish our strength? <gasps> oh no! There's no coffee left! There's a legend! That this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever prepares more when it's finished. Um. Right, Sosa? Right. Right. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? <laughs> Of course. Well, that's not really the answer I would have given, but what do I- Oh, he was talking about Sosa. She's the one who drank all the coffee. Well, first, we need water and coffee butter. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. Okay. So, maybe it's in the file cabinets. I got another slice of bread. Excellent. There's the coffee butter, and I already have the water. Hugo, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow on it a little and it'll work perfectly, like a Nintendo cartridge. That's how long I've been here. I've literally been here since the Nintendo came out. I was 25 when this started, and now I'm... Well, just look at me. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. Brew some coffee. You got a cup of coffee. Coffee gives you much a stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water is only really good for showering. Yeah, I remember when I was allowed to take showers. You got any questions? What exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot. I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. The photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to start printing important pieces of data, like quarterly figures or work documentation. But let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. What? It's one of my favorite things to do. He literally just took off his pants and his eyes went blank. And he just photocopied. Let's see if my portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. <laughs> well, that's a lot higher than I was going for. Come on, it's your turn. That doesn't sound right. I gotta stick with Santa Claus. No, no thanks. Come on, man. You'll understand how funny it is when you've done it. I guess you don't have to do your butt if you're embarrassed. Why not your face? Uh, my face? But you just... Okay, let's see. Oh no, it's out of paper! Uh, another time, perhaps? No, come on, man! You're the only one I can do these things with! So, 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 wuss and never dares! I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there something in your briefcase? Hmm... I picked up a blank sheet of paper. Just put your head against the glass. Okay. Oh, that's the save mechanic. Cool. Wow, this sure is shiny. Yeah, a bright light just shined in your face, Brian. What just happened? Witch paper. What? Well, well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pastor Neck. Uh. Okay. But I still don't know what my job is. Like I said, if you really want to start working, you can use that old computer. Someone will relay you your tasks. What's over here, though? Why is this unplugged? Oh, I just plugged in that computer. You need an ID card to access this machine. Okay. What's he doing? The computer said... Oh, that was the computer I need. Uh, he goes to the boss office to get an ID card. Uh, 
Uh oh. Hello? Mr. Pasternak. Yeah, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to Office D. Office D, thank you. Okay, here we go, Office D. Okay, I just walk into it to push stuff. Not wise to enter a room people are trying to keep blocked off, Pasternak. It's way too dark in here. You have an extreme affinity for pointing out when it's dark, Brian. Like, whenever it's dark, we can count on you to just belt it out there. Wow, it sure is dark in here. There's something written on the floor. It's a trap. This isn't funny. Turn on the light. Well, at least they were kind enough to let us know it was a trap before they sprang it. Ah, uh, bam! Oh, ow! Whoa! Ow! What the heck? What the heck, man? Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you... Normal? Hello, do you know where the exit is? Oh goodness, he's tied to the chair. What's happening here? I'm gonna try and tie you. Uh, it must be tied at the back. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, did we just tug these on? It won't budge. I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but uh, maybe between the two of us we can find a way out of here? <laughs> I gotta push this poor guy around. Okay, cool. Uh... Dude, I, I promise not to just ditch you at the first sign of trouble. That's not a promise that I could really keep, but, you know, maybe we'll, maybe you and me, you and me, we're going to make a great team. I can tell right now. I'm a class G, did I tell you? I'm, I'm, I'm very good at... Uh, okay. There's got to be some other stuff around here that's useful. I can't push the chair over these wires. Okay, cardboard box. Oh, stuff is going nuts! Oh, wait. Can I just go? <laughs> like, 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 it, it, this is a little bit, this is, this is really weird here. I would just like walk back out of the office, honestly, be like, you know, I'll just get my ID card later. And, and, uh, Hugo said, didn't say I have to start working, did he? Okay, hold up. Let me just... I gotta squeeze you in, alright? Suck in your gut. Everything will be just fine. Help. Me. Did you write that? How did you write that with your... Hands tied behind your back? Okay, this is, uh... Exceedingly disturbing. I don't see anything useful here. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're dead. What use are they now? I can't climb the corporate ladder on top of dead people. Or can I? Murmur, murmur, murmur. Take it easy. I'm sure there's got to be a way out in the back. Don't be such a baby. Yeah, it's just a hallway full of dead bodies. Run. Oh, look, another cardboard box. Yay. Run. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh! Ow! 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 Okay. Okay. Listen, this relationship is not working out the way I hoped it would. I'm gonna have to call you back later. Ah! Okay. Uh. What was that? Ah, it's still coming. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. The air duct is open. I need some help to climb onto it. Like, maybe a cardboard box? Yes. 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 Yes! Okay. I made it. Hopefully I won't be able to climb in here.
And there we go. Oh my goodness, what's going on at this company? Hey, you! Oh, I jump scared her. Is there any way to save? Like, now? Because I... <laughs> Kind of at the approaching the limit of my uh my play time here. Boss. Oh great. It's just 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 as bad as the other place. Hugo. What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A monster! There's a monster in the office. A what? I went to FSD and it was a nightmare! Oh, I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, no, no. What happened in there wasn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and people hanging from the walls. Well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying. <laughs> don't tease me, Pastor Neck. And besides, why did you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss told me I'd find my ID card in there. Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But, what? uh... Um... This office is a mess, so what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Did I not tell you there aren't any bosses in this company? Not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a little weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps. But there's no boss who called me. Just some joker, I suppose. Ah! Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card to start at work as soon as possible. Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. Ha! 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 Okay, there's my ID card. And I do seriously need to save. Oh gosh, I don't have any paper. Can I borrow some? There's paper all over the place. I never used one of these machines before. Here we go. Let's Time to work. It's a vaporwave music video. Aesthetic. Oh boy. I have to get out of this nightmare. Oh gosh, oh jeez. Ah! I don't want a waifu, I don't even watch anime. Welcome to Centricorp. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop it there. But, um,. If you guys want to see more of this, then do please leave a like. It's very interesting, but... Oh gosh, I gotta get through this conversation before I can save. Alright, hold up. Uh, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna end this video here, and then I'll come right back and record some more, because I can't stop playing. It won't let me! Welcome to Central Corp. You can never leave! I am and will remain your captain, and I will see you on the next leg of our journey. Bye-bye!